Hey guys, it's Jackson Fulcher here, and yesterday the second trailer for Star Wars Rogue One came out, and we're not sure if this is the last trailer or not, because the Star Wars YouTube channel says that this is the second trailer. Maybe they'll they'll put out another one, but since this movie is like two months out, maybe we won't, but then again, there was that International Force Awakens trailer last year that they did. I don't know, but this is the second official trailer for Rogue One, a Star Wars story, and oh my god, the trailers just keep getting better and better. Seriously, this Disney Star Wars marketing for these films is superb. Please do not disappoint us with episode 8 marketing or anything like that. You have to keep up the same kind of marketing in these films for the other movies. Because they're doing everything right. They're showing us some new images, some new stuff we haven't seen in the other trailers without really making us feel like we're getting spoiled. I know there are some people online who refuse to see Star Wars trailers or something like that because they want to see it blind or whatever, they'll probably be like, heh, I'm not watching it because pff, you're just spoiling yourself. <laughs> First off, don't brag about not watching a trailer. You're just as annoying as a vegan bragging about how they're a vegan. And second of all, they really aren't spoiling much. They are showing new things, but to me, I honestly really don't know how things are going to connect in this movie. Because we're seeing a lot of different things. The beach battles with the huge walkers, and you see that one shot at the end of the trailer with its foot just tramping on the ground with the rebels running beside it and then we see a space battle with the x-wings flying around what appears to be some sort of empire ship or something we also see some battles going on near these rocky terrains and then eventually they will have to sneak onto the death star we also see an atst storming through the town with the stormtroopers donnie yen fighting one off with a stick again like i want to know how this all connects what's what's happening but we also get to see a little bit more of jen urso's relationship with her dad, played by Mads Mikkelsen, finally being shown in a trailer. And we finally get a little bit of context in that relationship. He was forced away by the Empire to work on the Death Star, or was he forced away? Maybe this was his choice, or maybe he was originally forced to do it, but then he kind of changed his morals and is all about the Empire now. I don't know, but before leaving, he told Jin, whatever I do, it's for you, so maybe he's trying to protect his daughter from the Empire? And we also learn that Jin Erso is actually a prisoner by the Empire, like she's in a cell with a weird sleeping alien and a stormtrooper rocks by her cell and the Rebels actually bust in and break her out. So she isn't a prisoner by the Rebels, as kind of hinted at, in the teaser trailer, now we get a little bit more context that she's actually rescued by them so that she can help them out with stealing the Death Star plans. We also hear Alan Tudyk as K2 so saying, they're requesting a call sign, and then Riz Ahmed going rogue. It's Rogue One. And I was like, ah, you did it. You found a way to say the title of the movie in the movie. Great job. I really don't know what else to say about this movie other than the action looks incredible. The visuals as well look amazing. As I mentioned, that dog fight that, that, that I mentioned earlier, that looked amazing. It literally looked like a real thing. And also the cinematography looks excellent. The direction by Gareth Edwards. I honestly don't know what I could be forgetting right now. I mean, what else is there to talk about from this trailer? I really don't know. Oh yeah, I forgot the part where Darth Vader walks in and he looks awesome! Oh my god! In all seriousness though, he doesn't say anything. He just walks in on the scene. We see a little bit of the back of him where Krennen goes, the power that we're dealing with, but we don't hear him speak. We just see him walk in through the fog, but it's still great. I don't want to hear his dialogue yet. I just want him to be saved for the actual movie. Obviously, we know he's going to be in it. This has been known for a while, but I just want his dialogue, everything he has to say, all of his actions, I want him to be saved. You can tease me, and that's exactly what they've been doing. That's why the marketing is so awesome, because they're not spoiling Vader. Everyone knows Vader is in this movie, and if you don't know he's in it, then you've been living under a rock for the past year. Oh my gosh. Okay. I need to calm down. This trailer is awesome. It's the best Rogue One trailer yet. I'm so excited. December 16th. Please come as soon as you possibly can. But if you've seen the trailer for this movie, which obviously you have, leave in the comments below. What do you think of it? Are you excited? Obviously you are. But just how excited? And as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Fulcher. See you guys next time.